Hello everyone, it's Angela from the Chaotic Life of the Planner. Welcome to my channel. So I owe you guys an explanation. First off, I want to tell you that this is going to be cash envelope stuffing, but it is not very much money, which we'll count this money in a minute. And then I'm going to explain to you why I didn't have a cash envelope stuffing last week and why this week's is going to be a little bit different. Because one of the reasons that I'm adding budgeting back to my channel is for accountability. So I need you guys to help keep me accountable because I suck, you guys. So let's get to it. Um, I do have all of my budgeting things right here, as well as my Erin Condren budget book right here with pretty much, this is almost done. My December budget is almost finished, which today is December 2nd, so I need to hurry up. And then I also have all of my bill dues on this monthly spread, and this is my Erin Condren A5 Daily Duo. I just use the monthly spread in there because I don't need it for anything else. So it seems to have been working very good for me to do that. That video is, today's Thursday, that video is actually going to go up today. It's actually uploading right now while I film. And then I'm hoping to get this cash envelope stuffing up for you guys tomorrow on Friday. So let's go ahead. Well, first let's talk about why I didn't have a cash envelope stuffing last week. So last week, like was a little bit of a different week because Mike was home and we went to Detroit for the weekend. And I've told you guys before, if you're new here to my channel, you probably don't know that my husband works out of town two weeks at a time and then he's home for two weeks. So when he's home, like we do all the things in those two weeks and it's just nuts here. So I don't have like my, it's, I hate to say this, but like I have my schedule when he's not home. And then I have my schedule when he is home and they don't match. <laughs> so that was partly why I didn't have um, a cash envelope video last week. Um, it just is what it is. So this week's cash envelope stuffing is different because we're going to be out of town again this weekend. Last weekend we went to Detroit. Um, just Mike and I, and we went to a Red Wings game and that was a lot of fun. And then this week, this weekend, we're going to Great Wolf Lodge in Chicago um, with pretty much all of the kids except for one and some of them with their partners and whatnot. So there'll be a total of nine of us and we're going to be gone Friday through Sunday. We do have somebody watching our house and we do have a security system. So don't try and come to my house when I'm not here. I'm just joking. I know none of you would try and do that. So this isn't going to be a regular cash envelope stuffing either. Next week should be like back to what I want it to be. I am still learning what works for me and what doesn't. So there's my little bit of explanation there. Another reason why this isn't going to be a regular cash envelope stuffing, I was going to pull our um, spending money for Great Wolf Lodge out in cash, but Great Wolf Lodge is like cashless. You have to either charge things to your room or um, pay with a debit or credit card. So it just wasn't going to work out to have cash. We probably will pull out a little bit on the way there just so like if we order pizza or whatever, we can pay for it that way. Or if the kids pay for something and we need to pay them back part of it, you know, just all of that stuff. So we'll probably pull out a little bit of cash to have in our wallets, but not a ton. So before we count this, let's go ahead. I need to clean off my desk. I'm like, I have sewing projects everywhere. So I my spot to film is like tiny right now. So I have my little piggy and then he has 5780 in him right now, which means that Liberty must have added some change at some point because the last time I put change in him, he had 5562 and now he's up to 5780, which is fine. And then I just take change out of my wallet and put it in this little jar. And then I can go ahead and add them to my little piggy all at one time. And that seems to work out pretty well for me. So I'm going to add this into my little pig. I do have my pig linked in the description box down below if you'd like to pick him up from Amazon. I think he comes in pink too, but he's super duper cute and I love him. So let me finish adding this and then I'll tell you how much I have in there. All right, he has, I don't know if you can see that or not, 6117. Of course, now my camera battery is flashing at me. 
and I had $57.80 in there, so I put $3.37 in there this week, which, you guys, it adds up. It adds up really quickly. Like, over the course of a year, I can see how you could definitely have quite a bit of money in here. So I'm probably going to empty him at the end of December so that I can be starting January fresh. Um, and then we'll go from there. Oh, the next thing I want to do is scan all of my fetch rewards or my receipts into fetch rewards. So I don't know if I've talked with you guys about that before, but I'm sure that you guys know what fetch rewards is because everybody and their brother shares their code on um, YouTube and Instagram and whatever. And I will go ahead and put my code down here, but let's see if I can show you guys how easy it is. So here's my fetch rewards. I've got all my receipts right here. I'm just going to push this little button down here. I'm going to snap, take a picture. One of the things that I sometimes forget is to use my, and then I'm going to click submit, is for it to add my Amazon rewards because that can really add up quickly as well. So I got 35 rewards for this receipt. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of them and then um, I'll be right back. So all of my receipts are snapped or scanned or whatever. And then I usually like to push this little button again and then you can pick e-receipts and it will go ahead and process all of my like Amazon orders and I'm sure it does other orders too. So anyways, this is a way to add up points to earn gift cards and like it just takes a couple of minutes of your time and it's super easy. Oh, I forgot to have a Costco order. Um, so yeah, so anyways, here it would be right here, the e-receipts right here. So anyways, super easy. If you sign up using my code, I think you get 2,000 points and then maybe I get 2,000 points too. Anyways, super easy. You should definitely do it. Okay, these are all my cash envelope binders. We did fetch rewards. We did coins. Let's go ahead and count money and see. And it's not going to be very much, you guys. I mostly just wanted to do this video because I said I was going to do cash envelopes videos every week and I really need the accountability. So here I am. So we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80. So that's what we've got for a variety of reasons. We're not stuffing very much this week, some of which we will talk about as we're going through. I have my cash separated out. Normally my cash envelope stuffing videos will be like four or $500, but that's where we are. Okay, so this one I carry in my purse. We have groceries. We have nothing left here. I'm not pulling out groceries because we went to Target and Costco and I just swiped my card. Um, so I, partly because we were buying a bunch of stuff to take to Ray Wolf Lodge with us this weekend, but also because we were stocking up on some things. So I'm not going to have any more grocery money until next week, which is fine. Then we have kids. I do have $5 left in here. Um... I've been working on, well, one of the, the next envelope we have is kids. I do have $5 left in here from last time I stuffed them. And I actually think I'm just going to leave that in here for right now. And then when we get to fun, let's see what we have in here. Oops, I keep zipping them back up, which means I'm leaving them unzipped. So we have $2. I am saving my $1 bills for candle day at Bath and Body Works. So nothing in coffee, nothing in my money. And then this is gas. And I know this was not from gas, but I can't remember what this was. But regardless, there are three $1 bills in there. So we're going to leave that right there. Okay, so we're not putting anything in groceries. Now I need to find where I put my little slip that said which. Oh, there it is. We're not putting anything in groceries. We are going to put um, 20 in kids, and I think I'm going to do two tens. I already gave Liberty her gas money for the week. She needed that today, so I just transferred that to her account. But Christmas break is coming up, and I know she's going to have some extra things that she's going to be wanting to doing, going to be wanting to do with her friends and whatnot. So we have 25 in kids. Fun, I'm not putting anything in because we are, you know, going to Great Wolf Lodge and everything needs to be 
on our card. I may pull out like, I don't know, $100 or whatever, but we'll decide that later. Uh, coffee, I'm going to do 20 because I'm sure um, next week Mike doesn't go back to work until Wednesday, so I'm sure we're going to want to get some coffee. I'm not going to put anything in my envelope right now or gas because that is going to stay in my account. Uh, I'm going to transfer my spending money over to my separate account that I have. So that's how we'll work that. Uh, Christmas, I'm not putting anything in this right now, even though I do have a bunch of trees to cross off that I've already spent because I did spend a couple hundred dollars when we were at Costco on some things that I wanted there. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Next week, I will stuff this with cash again. Pets is not getting anything this week because Mike already had to buy um, dog food. We ran out of dog food and I sent the girls to get it at Walmart and Walmart was out. So Mike just went to Tractor Supply and got it and he just swiped the card. So we're leaving that there. Household, we are going to add some to that. So I have $10 in here. We, we are going to do... 20, so now I have 10, 20, 25, 30. So my battery died and I had to charge that. I think I was saying that I wanted to get um, like a red or a green light bulb for our like little light post, I guess it is, that we have in the yard. I don't know what they call them. It's just some kind of light post that we have in the front yard that has a sensor on it and it comes on when it's dark and obviously and then turns off in the morning. It's like probably as tall as me. I don't, everybody in my neighborhood has one of those. So anyways, I wanted to get a Christmas light bulb for that and that will come out of household and then I'm not sure. We have had some household expenses that we've already spent um, because I do keep like a budgeted amount each month for household. So this is just, uh, eventually I want household to all go to cash, but it's not quite there yet. And I'm not going to put anything in travel, even though we are traveling this weekend. And these are pretty much um, going to be envelopes that I don't stuff until January. So we are finished with that one. And then the last thing I'm going to do is my 50 envelope challenge. And I think I'm just going to do, let's see, I'm going to do, I've already done 20. So I'm going to do the 19. Yeah, I'm going to do 19. I need to start coloring it with a little more of a pretty color, but there we are. So, so far we have 50, 100, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, $135 in this 50 envelope challenge. I'm waiting for Intentional Living um, on YouTube. She has an Etsy shop as well. I'm waiting for her to post her 50 envelope challenge boxes that she makes. I think she said she's going to have them on the third, which is tomorrow, but she's only going to have like 13 of them. So I don't honestly know if I'll be able to get one tomorrow, but I would like to switch to an envelope box like that rather than using um, this envelope challenge, but we'll see. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. The last envelope that I am going to be stuffing and that is just with these right here is my one dollar challenge and I am going to count this today because I think that this weekend should be the Bath and Body Works candle sale. I was thinking it that I read it started tomorrow but I haven't actually seen an official like post or email from Bath and Body Works or whatever. And just so you know, I do not take the ones out of the 50 envelope challenge, obviously, because there would be some ones in there. Um, and in full transparency, I did have to give 10 of these to Michaela for gas. I was not here and she needed some gas money, so I just had her grab 10 of these. And then she needed pacifiers for Lucas and it was really late at night. And I have shared with you guys that she's been having a very difficult time getting her money from the VA um, that is supposed to be helping with her schooling. So that's the whole thing. But anyways, she needed pacifiers late at night. I was not here. I think it was when we were in Detroit. So she just grabbed the, some of this money. So unfortunately, I did have to spend some of my $1 bills, which 
I don't like, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and count this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. $78. So not terrible considering that I just started this in October and I actually do think that maybe somebody took, maybe I gave some to somebody one other time because I could have sworn that I had like a hundred dollars in there, but it is fine. No worries. I can still get a good amount of candles. <laughs> And then I probably will go ahead and use some of the Christmas budget when I go to Bath and Body Works if they're having a good sale on other things because I do need to get a few um, other things for Christmas presents there. So we have $78. I will take it. That is pretty much everything that I have. I would definitely recommend if you're going to do the dollar challenge not to use one of these envelopes like this because it just really, really, really stretches the envelope a lot. So I am going to do the $1 challenge again in 2022 and I'm going to have to get some kind of jar or something like that. So I'm really excited for um, you know all of the budgeting changes that we're making. I think it's going to work really well not only for us but for our kids too. Like kids definitely need to see a good example. And we do have um, one kid in particular who will remain unnamed that doesn't quite know how hard you have to work for money. <laughs> so it's going to be good for that person to see that there are limits and we just always can't, you know, have whatever we, we want whenever we want it. And let's face it, it's good for me to learn that too. So thank you so much for watching today. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, please do hit that red subscribe button button. If at any point during this video you liked what you saw, please do give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.